So far, we've been using our programs as glorified calculators. Of course, they can do more, and the next big idea is to make computers make decisions based on some information. Check this out. In mathematics, there is a concept of absolute value, and this is how it's defined. Don't worry, it's actually simple. If number is positive, then its absolute value is the same as the number. If number is negative, then its absolute value is the negation of the number. Basically, drop the minus if it's there, and that's it. One way to think of it is, it's the distance from zero. Imagine you want to describe a black box, a function that accepts a number and returns its absolute value. You'll need to make a rule inside the box, something like this. If number is greater than zero, then return number. If number is less than zero, then return minus number. If number is zero, then return zero. This is a condition, and formally it looks like this. If condition, then do something. If other condition, then do some other thing. If none of those conditions, then do something else. Let's make our function for real now. This function has one argument. It accepts one thing from the outside. Then we have the if keyword. Then goes the condition in brackets, then a block of instructions that will be running if that condition is met. Next is another condition with else if. Else if means if previous condition is not met, but this new condition is met, then do this next block of instructions. There can be multiple else if blocks. Sometimes you have many options. So now after we've taken care of positive and negative numbers, there's one more option left. What if number is zero? Note that we don't check for zero explicitly. We just say else. It means if none of the conditions above are met, then do this next block of instructions. You can safely think that if number is not positive and not negative, it can only be zero, but sometimes we make mistakes when thinking about conditions and options, and many problems in programming come from incorrect conditions. These conditions in brackets are things that can be either true or false. For example, num is greater than zero, is true when num is 9 or 15, for example, but it's false when num is minus 18 or, say, 0. As you see, greater than and less than math symbols kind of give answers, yes or no, true or false. There are other things that can give true or false answers. There is equal, not equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal, and less than or equal. And here are a few more examples. The branch of math that studies these true and false statements is called Boolean algebra. In general, statements of any nature, not just number systems, can be true or false. For example, I'm a human being is true. China is located in South America is false. JavaScript has true and false values, and you can actually use them in conditions. For example, you can say if true. And this condition will always be met, because true is always true. There are many aspects and details in Boolean algebra, but in programming we are mostly concerned about three basic operations. AND, OR, NOT. AND is when you want two conditions to be true. I'm a human being and horses eat grass is true, because both statements are true. I'm a human being and pigs can fly is false, because one statement is true, but other one is false. So together, this whole thing joined by and is false. The symbol for and is double ampersand. And this is the so-called truth table for and. It's like a cheat sheet. So only true and true give true. And all other combinations include false, so they result in false. Or is when you want at least one condition to be true. Following the same examples, I'm a human being or horses eat grass is true. I'm a human being or pigs can fly is also true. Even though pigs don't fly, I am a human being. So one of the two statements is true, which makes this whole thing joined by or true. The symbol for or is two vertical bars. If there is true, then the result is true. Not is simple. It's the opposite. Not true is false, not false is true. Not pigs can fly is true, because pigs can fly is false, but not false is true. The symbol for not is an exclamation mark. In programming, there are usually multiple ways to do the same thing. 
we can rewrite our absolute value function differently and get the same result. Let's try and do it using these new ideas. So now we have only two conditions. First, if number is zero or number is greater than zero, then return the number. Second, in any other case, return minus number. You can think of yet another way of writing the same function using greater than or equal sign, for example. When I say same function, I mean that the function behaves the same way from the outside, but the insights, the implementation, can be different. So this is how programs do basic logic. Check some information and do one thing or another thing depending on the information given.